Welcome to this tutorial of ReactJS in a Spring Boot full stack application. In this video, I'm going to show you what actually we are going to make with the help of a Spring Boot and the ReactJS. Actually, it's going to be a MP4 file upload system where we can upload the MP4 file videos like YouTube and we can retrieve and we can show render all the videos file in a image gallery. So we'll let's see the demo of that. First, this is the our form where we, we are going to upload the image description title and the tags we are going to attach so I will give the test demo I will give some tags as well this spring boot and react js full stack application so here you have to choose the mp4 file make sure you are choosing mp4 file only otherwise if you will choose the image or document it won't upload it it will show the throw the error as well so i'm going to choose one mp4 file and i will open it and this is the button we have to press after choosing the and entering the, all the essential details as soon as you will click on the upload video you will see the response wait video is uploading you will have to press ok I am not giving here any cancel button because this is the post call only. Later if you want to give a cancel button you can give as well. I will click OK. And this is the progress bar where 100% over it means our video is uploaded successfully. So in order to watch this video we have to click click to watch videos. So when we click it came here. I test demo, I enter test demo and uh, this is the Spring Boot ReactJS full stack application it came. So I think it's responsive as well. We can inspect it and check whether it's responsive or not. Ah uh, yeah, it's responsive only. I use React Bootstrap in order to make it responsive. If I will do for medium screen, it's a six. For a small screen, it's a three, and the large screen, it's a four. It means four cards will come in a row when it's a large screen, and the two cards will come when it's a medium screen and for a small screen mobile it's a only one card will come see for medium screen it's become if i will go to mobile view it will come one yeah you can see this so this is what we are going to make with the help of react js and we can have edit functionality as well suppose if you want to edit i will enter something this is edit data we can give something can. and this is so we have to submit it okay this see after editing the this is edited data came and the, this is hashtag for can came and we can delete as well if you will delete click delete i will click delete here okay if you want to delete then click okay now i don't want to delete i will hit cancel and you can view one by one as well so on by clicking on this you can view and we can play the video with the i audience. can never be without your love you know me your love is in my heart and in my blood it runs deep whatever you want in life you know it's so me now i'm pausing the video we can make a large screen as well we can make a small screen as well and we if you want to download that video you can download so this is the overall explanation what we are going to make with the help of a spring boot in the upcoming videos we are seeing first we will make a backend for that apis later i will create a react application and we'll do ui okay so for this demo it's okay i think i will meet in the next video uh, before that i will tell how to create the spring boot project so i will go to chrome browser i will search spring initializer so in first you have to click here now it's gradle project okay i will create a maven project you have to select some dependency which is i will select my sql okay this i will select uh, spring web it is necessary dependency for us i will select one data jpa data jpa okay one more i will select uh, lombok for reducing my boilerplate codes this is the four essential dependency initially so you have to select this thing and give some name com dot upload 
different videos okay i'm going to create the video with java 8 i'm using java 8 and 11 if you are using java 17 or the other, other version choose that and one more thing here you can see this is the 2.7.5 it means this is the version of spring boot so i will recommend you to use 2.6.8 after creating this project go to the form.xml file and change this i will show you how to do that i am generating as soon as it's generated demo.zip you have to go to whatever id you are using go there you can go there and go to import and select the extracted file not the zip file i will show you here this is the downloaded file i will extract it here itself here itself i will extract okay now you have to import the same file I will, this is the my demo thing cancel it i will go to the file and the import and the path you have go to path browse it on the desktop sorry it is in download only so choose the demo 